Hello, everyone. Another episode of Developer Advocate Stories. And uh, with me today, Nicolas. Hi, Nicolas. Hi, Ariel. How are you? Very good. Very good. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Nicolas, uh, if you can uh, tell uh, to our audience uh, a little bit about you, uh, yeah, your, sure. name, your company, whatever you want about you. Uh, so I'm Nicola Frankel. I'm a developer advocate. I've been working this year, it will be 20 years in IT. Uh, for like 18 years of that time, I was a consultant um, going to projects, implementation projects. Um, I had different roles like uh, developer, team lead, architect. Um, and right now I'm a developer advocate at, com at a company called Hazelcast. Um, as well as has two main products that we are going to merge soon. So one of them is our uh, first product is an in-memory data grid. So you can think about an in-memory data grid as distributed data structures. Uh, so the most, the easiest one, <laughs> the most used one is the hash map because then you can use a cache. Um, and the idea is you can either uh, shard different ports of uh, this map, uh, like among the nodes in the network, or you can replicate it if you uh, value your data, this kind of stuff. And the other is Hazel Cost Jets, and we do stream processing. Stream processing is like very hype right now. Uh, yeah. The difference with other stream processing engine is uh, we, we, we do it in memory as well, so um, distributed over nodes on a cluster. Right. And uh, a little bit, you know, you, you told uh, you told everyone uh, that uh, a longer history on the IT. How did you reach the developer advocate? Um, how it happened? Oh, that's very funny. Um, that first, I started blogging. Uh, I mean, when you are a consultant, you've got a lot of stories to tell, and yeah, your colleagues know about them. But uh, I believe that. Um, sometimes, for example, I, I wanted to like remind myself how I solve the problem. Uh, so I, I wrote it down and sometimes I knew it was the dirty way. And so I did some research and, and then I also wanted to write, hey, this is the right way to do it, or at least in my context. And, and it started like that. And yeah, perhaps I was interesting enough so that people uh, started coming to my blog more and more. And afterwards, <clears throat> I decided, oh, perhaps I, I will do some public speaking. Um, so I started at my local Java user group um, in Geneva. And it seems people uh, were happy about it. So I started doing it more and more and more. And so I had like three jobs, like my regular jobs for which I was paid, uh, consultants, then I was blogger and I was public speaker. And I, I was taking my own vacation, my own private time to do that. And I said, I, I, it cannot go on. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not super happy being a consultant, being in project with like deadline. And sometimes, you know, deadlines, they, can, they come out of the blue. You have no clue why. And most of the time, there are no real reasons. Somebody, um, like an executive decided that for his career, it was nice to deliver at this date, this kind of stuff. And I, I, I felt this like pressure of politics more and more. I mean, you, you're a developer, you, you, you feel it, but not that much. Then you become a team lead, an architect, solution architect. And after a while, you see it's everywhere, every time. And either you can ignore it and, and you can continue doing your stuff. Uh, but I, I didn't feel comfortable, but on the opposite, like blogging and also like public speaking made me happy. So I said, okay, then I will try to, to find if somebody is willing to pay me to do that like as a job. And yeah, so I found a company and uh, well, it was my first try, it didn't work out so well, but now I'm working for Hazelcast and everything is, is good. Well. Everything was good <laughs> <laughs> until the whole situation uh, like happened. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we we are all in the same boat on that, so that's how we must cope with that. And and how looks you know your uh, di during this uh, uh, pandemic? Uh, how how do you you know uh, can uh, succeed to do 
uh, this work as a, a debris, how, how to change, what are we expected to do, uh, if you can share a few things. I have, I mean, I have switched a lot what I'm doing. Um, before I did a lot of traveling around. Um, and of course, right now, well, traveling is a bit limited to say the least. Um, so that um, I, I do my talks online, which is to be honest, much less fulfilling. You, you don't have this feedback loop. You're just talking to your screen. Yeah. You, you don't know if there, if there is anybody like living on the other side. Um, um, but I'm also, um, I also have more time to take care of our community. For example, I started um, the Hazelcast Heroes program. We, ha we have a community and some people are very, very involved. They are uh, writing uh, like uh, issues on GitHub. Sometimes they are even submitting uh, like uh, pull requests to solve those bugs or even new features. And we wanted to recognize those who go the extra mile that are not actually only consuming because uh, yeah, has the cost is open source. Most of our products are open source, mm -hmm. uh, but they are they are providing as well. And so I, I started the the Hazel cost Euros program. And so um, yeah, this was about thinking who, how, what, this kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I mean. I'm not bored. The, the good thing is that uh, in developer advocacy, since it's it's so wide, uh, you can also do some development, which is what I'm doing right now. Why I missed our call before for <laughs> for this exact reason. I was like developing a demo, and uh, you can also talk to people. You can interview people. You there is there is so much stuff to do. Uh, it, it's it's a never ending story. You are never bored. Yeah, yeah. So, so people really are, are trying to adopt uh, this uh, new time, hoping that uh, it will end uh, soon. Uh, and we talk. I asked you before the interview uh, about if you can share uh, like a cool story or uh, you know something that uh, happens to you uh, during an interview during a live session. And you told me that it's happened all the time, but still. <laughs> I, I've got an interesting story. Uh, it was it was not this summer, obviously, because this summer was not that great. But the summer before, and the problem is. Um, <clears throat> I'm very eager to, to do some public speaking. So I send a, a lot of, of, um, of proposals to call for papers. And the thing is that, hey, I'm, I'm sometimes selected and sometimes I'm selected a lot. And it's, I mean, it's not in my mind to say, hey, sorry, folks, I, I cannot do that. I'm too tired. So um, <clears throat> it was in, in the summer 2019 and, and I had traveled a lot and I really had enough and I had to go to Luxembourg uh, to, to have another conference. I didn't want to go, but well, I, it was my job. So I, 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 I flew there and <clears throat> the, the, the conference was, it was funny. It was in the casino. The hotel was in the casino. Uh, so my room was in the same casino where the conference was. And well, I went to my room and I didn't, I didn't want to like get down and to, the, to, to give my talk. And well, I mean, I, I saw the clock ticking. I thought, oh, now I need to go. And I went, but I was not happy. And, and then I started talking and talking and talking. And, and in the end, I, I, I mean, just the fact that I had this feedback from the room uh, in comparison to this, this time where actually you are talking to your screen, I felt much better. I, I, I was really feeling well. So that was funny to notice that um, just giving a, a talk and having like this uh, like feedback loop where people were asking questions and stuff, uh, it, it, it gave me back energy. Yeah. So that, that's, uh, I noticed that, um, that, I mean, that never happened to me before and that was nice to notice it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a great story. Sometimes people ask me, you know, we have a Europe cloud community, Spain cloud, Israel cloud, we, we have a lot of communities and people ask me, how do you, you know, you don't get tired. And I say, you know, being with people, smart people, people that want to learn, people that want to share, you know, it's it's fill you, it fills you with the energy and 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 the will to you know to be part of something that is a little bigger about uh, every one of us uh, and uh, and doing things together. Uh, I believe a lot in communities, in sharing content and and doing good things. So I I really you know connect uh, uh, to to the, the things that we do. 
and, mm -hmm. and your story because my wife said, you are not tired? I said, no, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so Nicolas, uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. Thanks a lot. Sharing your story, and I believe that uh, we will do more things together because you are very active uh, in the in this. I world. hope so, and and I hope that sometimes we will finally meet physically. That I will be able to travel somewhere in one of your conferences and not through the screen. That will be nice. Yeah, for, for sure. This, this will be our our wish for for I don't know is is this year, but uh, hopefully until next year. Uh, okay, so Nicolas, thank you very much, and uh, see you the next time. <laughs> hey, Ariel. Yes. Um, I, I am.